Well, good morning, all my friends out there. <clears throat> I do hope that you're um, staying cool and, and you're healthy and you're taking care of yourselves. Um, keep Thomas Tommy in prayer for me, if, if you would. I'd appreciate it very much. He's got a very bad infected leg. So if you pray for his healing. And um, work on your instincts. Work on your um, intuition. Try to... Um, visualize you, people that you love, um, feeling them, giving them love and energy through your thoughts. Um, this is something that we have spiritually. We've got, we've got the uh, soul, okay, which permeates our whole body, and it's a spark from God, okay. That's our soul. It's from God. So if we can use that soul in conjunction with our bodies and send out. Um, love for each other and get in tune with each other and feel each other that you know work on our intuition a little bit more I think that would be really helpful for all of us uh, into um, the future and helping each other heal and 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 a bunch of other things okay um, also please tell your children that they have a guardian angel tell them that they uh, were souls that picked the families they came into, that they um, have a guardian angel that stays with them forever, okay, for an eternity, okay, and that they can know what their guardian angel's name is if they ask. They can become in tune and know that their guardian angel's there. You can ask your angel to help you in various tasks that you do throughout the day. Unemployed angels as well, you can ask them to help you. Ask them to help you find a job. Ask them to help you with whatever task you're doing, and they will help you. So, um, yeah, okay. Um, as far as North Korea is concerned, um, the people of North Korea, I hope you do understand that North Korea is basically a prison. It, the people that live there have to do what they do, otherwise they don't get food. And there is a lot of young, young men and women who have been able to flee the country who were homeless okay didn't have any food shelter and they're just kids they're just babies really so we need to be considering them <clears throat> and then also kim jong young all he you know we can't give him anything nothing's going to work unless we take him out or disrupt his capability completely um and the people I'm concerned for, of course, are South Koreans and the people that are in there that, you know, to no fault of their own was born there, okay? Uh, they decided as souls to go there, hoping probably against all hope that mankind would change, that the capacity for mankind to change is there, okay, because of our free will. So if you think about it, you're a soul and you're deciding where you want to go, even though you know you could die, you could, you know, be aborted, you could be um, in a going into a very bad environment, whatever that may be. You decide as a soul that that's where you're going to go. And so you go there and, and hopefully you think you can make a difference as a, you know, as a human being, that you recognize who God is, that you come into your own and you realize, yes, there is a God and that he's a fully in charge but that we have our own free will to do with what we want to do and hopefully that's in alignment with the lord um and that's where we need to come to as a country is to come into alignment with god um so we've got the south koreans to to consider we also have the japanese who are just furious and scared of, about what's going to happen they sign over 70 years ago, a declaration that they would only have an army and military um, buildup for defense only, not for offense. Now they're reconsidering that pacifism thought, okay, because of World War II. They agreed to that. And, um, <clears throat> and we, you know, we also have uh, other concerns going on in, in the nation uh, other than the earthquakes that are going on. We also have uh, 
Irma hurricane barreling down uh, through Puerto Rico, San uh, Juan, Cuba, to the Bahamas, to um, where one of my relatives lives in the southern tip of, of uh, Florida there. Um, so uh, Rocky and Heather, I do hope you're staying s safe out there in Florida. Um, and so anyway, yeah, okay. We are in a new book now. We're in the book of Amos. And Amos starts off chapter one. Please do pray before you hear God's word. <clears throat> the author is Amos, okay? And he does prophetic visions. And chapter one is God's judgments upon Syria, the Philistines, Tyrus, Edom, and Ammon. So the words of Amos, who was among the herdmen of Keoka, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and the days of Jerob Jeroboam, the son of Josh Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. And he said, The Lord will roar from Zion, utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the habitations of shepherds, shall mourn, and the top of Carmel shall wither. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing instruments of iron. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazel, which shall devour the places of Benadad. I will break also into the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant from the plain of Avon and him that holdeth the scepter from the house of Eden and the people of Syria shall go into captivity unto Ker, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Gaza and for the four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. But I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces thereof. I will cut off the inhabitants from Ashdod, and him that holdeth the scepter from the Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they delivered up the whole captivity of Edom, and remembered not the brotherly covenant. But I will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with a sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send a fire upon Timon, which shall devour the palaces of Basra. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of children of Ammon and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have ripped up the women with children of Gilead, and they have might enlarge their bo their borders. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it shall devour the palaces thereof with shouting in the day of battle, with a tempest in the day of a whirlwind. And their king shall go into captivity he and his princesses together, saith the Lord. Chapter 2. God's wrath against Moab, Judah, and Israel. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Moab and four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime. I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the palaces of Kuroth, and Moab shall die with tumult with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. I will cut off the judge from the midst thereof. They shall slay all the princesses thereof 
with him, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, For three transgressions of Judah, and for four I will turn, not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have despised the law of the Lord. They have not kept his commandments, and their lies caused them to err, after the which their fathers have walked. Sorry, after the which, not like, you know, <laughs> W-H-I-C-H, okay, which their fathers have walked. And I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they sold their righteousness for silver, and the poor for a pair of shoes. Um, so they're talking about trafficking men. Okay, the, the pant after the dust of the earth on the head of the poor and turn aside the way of the meek and a man and his father will go into, this, into the same maid to profane my holy name. And they lay themselves down upon clothes laid to pledge by every altar and they drink the wine of the condemned in the house of their God. Yea, destroy I an Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of, of the cedars, and he was strong as the oaks, yet I destroyed his fruit from above and his roots from beneath. Also I brought you to, oh, sorry, also I brought you up from the land of Egypt and led you forty years throughout the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite, and I raised up of your sons and prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. And it is not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord. But ye gave the Nazarites wine to drink and commanded the prophets, saying, Prophesize not. Behold, I am pressed under you as a cart is pressed that is full of sheaves. Therefore the flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not strengthen his force, neither shall the mighty deliver himself, neither shall he stand that standeth the bow, handeth the bow, and he that is with a foot shall not deliver himself, neither shall he that rideth a horse deliver himself, and he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, saith the Lord. So no escape, you know, weapons of, of are vain, and the mighty men shall flee naked in that day, saith the Lord. Okay, that's the end of chapter 2. We'll go into chapter 3 later on. Because I'm running out of time again. What did I do with my pen? Huh. Okay, well, I'll get it later. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> do leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, thumbs up only if you like it and subscribe um, pass along share okay um, always like to share my toys my good things my good you know anything I anything I can I'd like to share with other people um, oh I found my pen <laughs> okay well you have a good day and evening and I will talk to you soon uh, I've done a few songs over the weekend, so if you haven't had a chance to take a listen, I re revised the uh, Will This Be the Day and um, sort of redid the um, Ventura Lilac song. Uh, I Again, I'm so mad at myself. I missed one verse. I What's wrong with me? I'm getting old. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, anyway, it's fun to do the songs. I'm hoping you're enjoying the songs. Um, I'm doing different ones. Um, secular, and um, I haven't done any Christian songs lately, but I, you know, get so moved, I will. Um, that's all I know, kiddo. <laughs> uh, talk to you soon. All right, tomorrow, more of the Bible, and hopefully some music. Okay, bye.